Hello, Dragon Quest, my old friend. Hello, folks. We've been uh, we've been having a bit of a long ass break in this game because October happened, and I played a lot of horror games, and then I had some other stuff I had to do. But here we are, back in Dragon Quest XI. I have been looking so forward to this, like you wouldn't believe. So excited. Ah, oh, just been editing the last few episodes, and mm, mm, can't wait. Let's just go right for it. It's been an it's been a dog's age, man. Oh, here's what happened so far. The ongoing search for the rainbow leads our heroes to Octagonia, where they take part in the masked martial arts tournament. Ash manages to emerge victorious, but before he can claim his reward, he finds himself facing down an unspeakable creature called Aractagon. Having overcome this sickening spider and freed his fighting partner Vince from its evil influence, the award ceremony can finally continue. Before the prizes are presented, Vince proposes an exhibition match between himself and our hero in order to show the people of, Octagon of Octagonia what the hero is like without performance-enhancing substances to spur him on. He loses in spectacular style, but far from being disappointed in him, the citizens cheer their champion for his bravery and swordsmanship. With the ceremony finally reaching an end, the time comes for Ash to be awarded with the rainbow, but the prize he's been seeking for so long is nowhere to be seen. It's been stolen. In its place are the mask of a certain portly old gentleman and a letter saying that in order to claim his reward at last, he'll have to go to his former home, Dundrasil. Oh man, been so looking forward to playing this again. My fingers are like itching to get this guy walking and getting into battles. <laughs> so happy. Plus, now we might finally get Rob and, um, uh, I actually- Jade! I actually forgot her name, jeez. On our team. Been looking forward to that much. Also, just to be a nerd, I have all this stuff on a new TV stand, which I'm ridiculously happy about. Alright, Dundrasil. I do not remember where the fuck that is, so... These are the actual ruins of Dundrasil. Alright. Or, well, Svartskost, I guess. Right, let's see what this place has to offer. Man. So this is Dundrasil. I'd heard the rumors about what happened here, but still, I never expected this. It'll be all right, Solando. Don't be upset. To think that not so very long ago this was one of the world's great cities. And that it was reduced to rubble in a single night. That is sad. A king and queen murdered by monsters. The princess of Heliodor too. The poor thing was only visiting. Oh, that's why the king has a stick up his ass. They were your parents after all. So where's the old guy from the tournament, anyway? And why'd he drag us all the way out here? Good question. Oh, look. Those torches are lit. He must be in there somewhere waiting for us. Ah, huh. that makes sense. To a certain degree. So this was once a city, huh? Wow. Just looking around for... Any potential treasure. Because that's what ruins like these are known for, right? To have treasure everywhere. Valuable shit just lying around. That nobody's touched in the, what, many, many years? Oh. Whoa. Hello. Mr. Dragonface. Nothing here. Should we go beat up Mr. Dragonface? I want to beat up Mr. Dragonface. Uh, yeah, see, the thing about moving around as a character, I forget you can do that, so I just don't do it. I haven't switched or anything. <laughs> Alright, Frizzle. Boom. Oh, that wasn't very effective. Ooh, 
Oh, hey, welcome back. Dragon Slash! Eat shit, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! That worked out well. Alright, I'm just going to keep going in a circle and see if I find anything interesting. You never know with these games. They hide shit in weird, weird places sometimes. Do -do 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 -do. Doesn't look like that's the case this time, though. Oh! Hello, Mr. Slime. Eek! Who's that? Please don't hurt me. I'm not a bad slime. If you promise not to hurt me, I'll tell you something surprising. This well goes all the way to the castle. You can use it to get where those brassier bra things are. Is that so? That's interesting. I, I mean that. Genuinely, that actually is interesting. <laughs> wow. You really tried hard to come up with that blue dragon joke, huh? I actually do want to give that game another try. I wasn't completely fair to it when I originally played it. So if I ever find it for a few bucks, I might pick it up. Come on, die you big sack of shit. How about no? Don't do that. That is annoying. It is, in fact, unpleasant. There we go. And don't come back. Dragon hide. Thank you. Serena, want to help people out here? Thank you, honey. All right, nothing here. Let's just try to go to the castle. What's this? There's a pile of rubble blocking the stairs, so I do need to use the well. All right. Well, from what I understood of Blue Dragon, it's it's supposed to be a cliche storm and really kind of weird. Um, from what I understand, that was the point of the game. Like, that's why they made it. To, like, celebrate all the weird and random shit in RPGs. But, of course, they could just be a retroactive thing they said to save face. I don't fucking know. I do love my Akira Toriyama, though. There's my drink. Alright, we're in the castle. Well, what used to be the castle anyway. So this is where my parents were born. There he is! There the little shit is. Give me my rainbow! <laughs> so you made it at last. Well, excuse me. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though. As am I. Okay. It's not like you had much choice. Now, where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? Fuck you. You know we do. I suppose that's because your pal here is the luminary. How did you know? Was it the incredibly visible sign on my hand? <sighs> Wait. How could you? And I thought you died years back, laddie. But I saw that mark in your hand at the tomb, and my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. You sure those weren't just palpitations from old age? No. Come along. There's something I want to show you. If you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. I don't really have a choice now, do I? 
Oh, it's just like walking behind an old man in real life. Ah. Uh. It's like standing in line at the grocery store. Jeez. Uh, Rob, move. For fuck's sake. Oh, God. This place brings back some memories. And now he's gonna tell us his life story. Classic old man. Look, are you going to tell us who you are or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came. And I lost everything. Aww. Your age, laddie. This was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. Look at it now. One night. And that's all it took them to tear it all apart. Mm. Stop it. That's sad. Ah. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on. Typical. Typical old man. Tell me to hurry and then fucking waddle along like a fat duck. Hmm? Is this somebody's grave? No, it's just a random tombstone. Yes. Aye. This is where the king and queen of Dundrasil are buried. This is your parents' grave, Larry. The grave of my daughter and son in law. Wait, what? Wait, but that would mean you're his grandfather. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe that Wait, been a this is my real grandpa? That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. And I've been on the road ever since. For real? Holy shit! Well, I, I guess that's just how it goes. One grandpa dies, you get another one. I've uncovered some of the truth in my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. Oh, yeah? He once believed in the power of the luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the dark spawn. Yeah, I, I kind of know. He, he made that very clear when I met him. He's not a man I knew any longer. Foxy blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? Hmm, there might be more to this story. Oh, this actually is really emotional. Jeez. Boy. Was no loss to us after all. Oh man, did you bring me here just to make me feel sad? Jeez. Yes, you don't even have to ask. Of course I do. Royal ritual, you see. It's to send the souls of the departed to a better place. <laughs> well, yeah, you're you're absolutely right. 
It trope as fuck, like so classic. But it also almost always switches everything up in the last act, you know? And like you say, it just does it so well. It's classic. It's it's old school in all the right ways. More than it's more than it's old. It's awesome. Jeez. That is some great A voice acting, by the way. This guy's good. I'm just gonna... Oh, hey! Gazillion Sovereign! Ooh. Hold on. I'll, I'll humor you, old man, but I just want to break some shit first. Devil's Tail. Interesting. Well, I wouldn't say Dragon Quest never changed. It made a pretty massive change from Dragon Quest 1 and 2 to 3. But then it never changed more than it had to. To make things more convenient. Such as making this guy walk more than 0 0.5 miles an hour. Jesus. <laughs> Is there any point to waiting for him? Like, can I just cruise ahead? Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there he is. Well, no, it didn't pull a Final Fantasy VII. It pulled a Dragon Quest VIII. Which, of course, isn't a total genre shift. I know that's what you're talking about, but that was a major step. Come on, Rob. Will you please pick up the fucking pace? Hello, there's Jade. Everything's ready. Oh, that's the rainbow. I'm pretty sure. Princess. It looks just perfect. Princess. Wait a second. You're not serious. You don't mean if the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me. Only members of the Drusillian. Holy shit! I have a sister too! Oh, there goes a lot of shippers. <laughs> How come he called you princess? Are you quiet now? Or she doesn't take part, so Huh. Curious. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. Sure. As long as you explain what Jade is afterwards, I'll be happy. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. That's not quite how it goes in the original myth, but all right. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. Oh? Butterflies, of course. The smoke guides them back to where they This is so cheesy and I love every second of it. Each butterfly is a lost soul. And now they can Oh, you did not need to tell me that. That just Ah, oh, that just showed me how horrible this massacre is. Jesus Christ, Rob. Oh my god, no. 
I hope that's like the accumulated amount over 15 years because uh, or 17 or however long. Oh no. He saved your boy and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you. Jesus. Can you go back to being the funny little man in the mask who stands and watches while Jade kicks everyone's ass? I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? No, she left me an orphan. There we go. Oh, no. She didn't, did she? She did not. All right, you fist wearing motherfucker. Want to explain? Uh, yeah. Didn't quite go as planned. If only she'd known. I'm sorry, Ravid. You've been through so much. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me. Eh? Oh, Heliodor. Stop it! I can't take this. I did not need to see an old man's hand shaking as he mourns his daughter. Jeez. I'm sorry, Larian. I'm gonna need to be alone for a wee while. You got it, buddy. Oh man. Things would be a lot easier if we could just fly up to Yggdrasil like, like those butterflies. Sorry, now's not the time for saying silly things like that, is it? Not really. But I know you mean well. Yeah. Well, she apparently isn't my sister. That did seem a little too convenient. Wasn't the queen brave rescuing you the way she did? <laughs> and dying? Wasn't she brave when she died for you? <laughs> Veronica and I must learn from her example. After all, it's our job to protect you now. Oh, darling. That ceremony was just beautiful. Your parents are at peace now, I'm sure. Thank you. All right, you want to tell me who you are? Wait a minute, Mom. Who's there? Who do you think? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? Probably a good idea. Jesus, did that shirt actually come with two pouches, My one for each of your boobs? Soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. Is that so? She used to read me stories, take me flowers with me. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. Ah, there we go. She is the princess of Heliodor. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. So she must be a bit older than me, right? Otherwise she wouldn't really be able to remember her. Oh fuck. Heliodor soldiers, of course. Can't let pe pe people mourn in peace, can you? Indeed. We need to get back to the others. It really does look like her shirt has inbuilt boob holders. Christ.
But that is that is not how shirts work. I know I'm focusing an awful lot on her boobs in such a sad scene, but they command attention. No, oh, they were smart enough to haul ass. That's good. It, it's him. Oh dear. Well, I guess I get to use Jade in battle now. Booga booga booga. What shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrick's orders were to bring the dark spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Oh dear. Just you try it. Yeah, if if he knew who you were attacking right now, you might be regretting that. Oh, that matrix effect. Gotta love it. She's bullying me. Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. <laughs> well, I thought I would get to fight with her. All right. Later, I guess. Why why even make me walk those couple feet if you're just going to continue the cutscene? Come on. Oh Jesus. Oh, it's you, you son of a shit. You will look at my chin scruff and admire it. You are a slippery one, I will give you that. Unlike my chin scruff. You would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. <laughs> Man, the dark spawn is mine. And don't stare at my one loose strand of hair. Forward. Oh! Oh no! You will evade me no longer, Dark Spawn. The chase ends here. But there's so much game left. And here we go. Now he recognizes her. <laughs> Princess Jade. <laughs> I'm sure that was supposed to be dramatic. But seeing Jade in that frilly ass dress. Oh my god, that's the funniest thing I've seen today. Oh, that's less funny. And gotcha. Oh. I won't let you go again. She tried to grab me when I was sent down the river. Interesting. Damn it. I had a great view of her ass from up here. Well, that got dramatic fast. Oh, we're doing this now. Where did we wake up?
in a cabin, from the looks of it. I do like that it has added an autosave. That's very helpful. <laughs> Spooky? For no reason? Oh, good. You're awake. Indeed. Where are we exactly? Oh. Yeah, that's what you get for going around with no shoulders in this weather. <laughs> Convenient carpets. I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... If it happened again. Ah, there we go. Rad must have told you about your mother. That she sacrificed herself to save you and the princess of Heliodor. Well, you probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. No! Your mother saved my life. Get right the fuck out of town! That night, the night Dandrosil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. So oh, she might actually have been in the in the intro cutscene, but I don't remember. Aw, come on. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you Rad fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminarch. He was trying to make people believe awful things about me. Yeah, I figured. Rad was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind. That someone must be controlling him. Jasper. So I'm betting it's fucking Jasper. Who and why? I never expected to see Hendrick again. Let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Yeah, what about the others? We need to find them. I guess you're my teammate for a while now, huh? Huh. That was odd. Fire crackled. Oh. It's like the rain's dying down. Dying we down? It turned freaking tropical. Alright, well, I guess we're going. Where are we right now, anyway? Oh! Well, that's not very far. Let's qu Ah, there's a goddess that- Hey, 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 treasure! Mini metal, yay! Need those. I have actually forgotten where we check in mini metals. Shit. It's probably in my zoom uh, menu. We'll try it out in a few. Let's just save first so I don't have to do all that again. Uh, divination, yes. Oh! Oh, she's not officially on my team yet. Damn it. Alright. Whoops. Alright, but even if she's not officially on my team and I can't control her right now, let's just... Let's just see how she fights. Oh, she uses spears. I may have to reallocate uh, Serena's skills. Oh, Beast Bone! I need those. Right, we'll see when they join for real. What kind of skills I need. 
I might be able to equip her with a different kind of weapon that is more interesting. Boom! Yeah, I think that Naginata fits under spears, and I already have Serena using spears. And I have a sneaking suspicion she is way more effective with them, so... I'm gonna have to fuck around with that for a bit. Once I get my team back. No, you get back here, you! I need the XP. Anything to be found here? Not from the looks of it. So let us just... Go up here and get back to the castle and see if we can find the others. Oh! God damn! Hendrik, you sack of shit! So I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the dark spawn. Sir Hendrik. Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But. Should you choose to continue to side with the child of darkness, you may not live for much longer. Man, <laughs> gotta give him that. He uh, he sticks to his guns. Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go. You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. So we're gonna fight or not? Yes, it has. Uh oh. That dress is hers. Sure knows what to cover. Where okay, I take that back. Not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. <laughs> no dice. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the dark spawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you. Yeah. Well, there we go. He can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fighting birdie. Get on. Come with me if you want to live. Now hold on tight. <laughs> nice. Get fucked, Hendrik. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Princess, what have you become? She straight up ganged that horse. <laughs> awesome. God damn it, just play the cutscenes if you're only gonna let me take a few steps. Look. There you both are. And in one piece too. Two? There are two of us. Just about. All thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but I doubt he'd have told us much. Probably not. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. What's that supposed to mean? The first time a 
this glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named Mordagon. Ooh! Ancient evil, so now we're in Dragon Quest territory. These days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Wouldn't be surprising. Which is why you're going to have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. You're the luminary after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. But you'd be more than foolish. Putting a little bit of pressure on me there, Grandpa. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arboria tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica! That must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Sounds plausible. Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you have to make your way to the world tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. Why, well, thank you. Well, can you see anything? Nope. Just a shiny branch. Don't tell me it's a dud. If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him. He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. I'm not sure he knew. No, no, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you, and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother. I promise. Oh, I'm sure you won't. <sighs> there we go. Finally. <sighs> Let me just, uh, <laughs> rub the front of my ghost mustache here. Yay! New party members! Alright! Now the real question is, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh well. <laughs>